Today, we're diving into a critical aspect of product-led growth that can make or break your success. We've had some great guests on the podcast, like Wes Bush, episode 159, and he gave great advice and a framework for doing PLG really well. But what happens when the strategy goes wrong? I actually had this experience recently, and I know that I'm not alone in that. Last fall, as part of our strategic planning process, I was looking for a SaaS tool to create surveys, assessments, and a couple other value adds for our clients, website visitors, and just to get the pulse of the market on relevant issues. Primary research, like I learned from Becky Lawler over at Redpoint Content, that's episode 156 of the podcast. But I found a tool that was perfect. The marketing message was spot on. It was exactly what I needed. And so I put the name of the tool in the project spec and just added it to the backlog. Perfect solution, done, ready to go later on. So Q1 rolls around. This project moved to the front burner. It's time to get it kicked off. Uh, the company itself that I picked uses the PLG Motion, product-led growth, and it has a seven-day free trial. Cool. So I signed up and I got started. And there's some depth to the tool. It's exactly, exactly what I wanted. A lot of customization options. And I knew several of the things I wanted to create and had an outline already. So I get into the tool and an hour later, I had three things started and zero done. So I started the first one and hit a roadblock. And then I did the next one and hit a roadblock. And the third one, the same thing. And within the tool itself, there were a few basic templates. And like I said, there's, there's a lot that this thing can do. Could certainly fill my need. So a few basic templates, a few examples, but not really what I was looking for. So two hours later, of just kind of spinning my wheels more. I just set it aside and uh, so I'll come back later. So next day, same song, second verse. Uh, I hit chat support and I ask him, hey, do you have any examples or templates or, or something that can kind of give me a jump start? And so they sent me a link to where I'd been before. And so I was like, this is not going to do it. And so I set it aside for another few days and then tried again. And, you know, two hours later, total frustration. And it's like, I'm in the middle of my trial here. I was like, I got to do something because I've, I've you know, spent hours on this already and I've got nothing. So a little Google search did alternative to this tool. I won't tell you what it was, but you know, I looked at a few competitors and tried another one. Nope, not really. It was really, really shallow. I uh, looked at four or five more, too expensive, didn't like the pricing model. One had no trial. And then I found one that looked pretty promising. And so I signed up again, another trial product led growth, you know, had some good examples, like a hundred templates and several that fit the three projects I wanted to make. And within an hour, all three were done. Another hour I upgraded, paid, published, and, and it was a great, great experience. So what's the lesson here? The key to unlocking explosive growth is not just acquiring new users, but in creating a sign up and onboarding experience that engages users and drives them to upgrade. What we want to do is get them a win. You get this right and you'll be well on your way to product led growth domination, but miss the mark and you'll be left with a leaky bucket of inactive users like I was and untapped potential without a clear path to success. These users never fully activate and are unlikely to upgrade to paid plans. Since that just leads to poor retention, you know, lack of activation and honestly missed growth opportunities because I was ready to buy. And in fact, I did, just not the tool that I started with that I, I literally had picked and banked on for like months. So what do we do about this? What does it mean for you? Well, first, simplify the signup process. Get rid of unnecessary friction and make it really easy for users to get started with your product. Collect essential information and provide clear, concise instructions at every step. If it's not something you need to get them a win, skip it and make it till later. Maybe it helps onboarding. Maybe it helps your marketing. Maybe it helps you, you know, how are you going to use it? But unless that affects the user experience, save that for later on. Second is highlight your product's value. Make sure to use that onboarding experience to showcase your product's key features and benefits. Focus there on the benefits. Provide interactive tutorials, guided walkthroughs, real world examples that demonstrate how your product solves users' pain points. Because that's what we're there to do. We're not there to buy software. We're there to solve a freaking problem. Help us do that really fast. And third, don't give a map. Be the guide. You ever go to a zoo or an amusement park and someone hands you a map at the entrance? Like, all right, cool. 
you know, the, the elephants are over here and lions are over there and, and great apes are over there. All right. But have you ever had a VIP experience where you had a concierge or a behind the scenes tour? They pick you up, they escort you, they give you helpful tips. They, they tell you everything that you need to know. They give you some insight, some inside tips and, and help you really have a great experience. They know the right order to go in. Think about like an amusement park, they go and you know, get to jump to the front of the line. Give that kind of experience to new users. Don't just hand them a map and say, enjoy. Give them the guided tour. Guide them through. Be the guide. How quickly can you get them to an outcome? In this case, it took me less than an hour, three outcomes. And I'm like, I'm in. How fast can you create a win? Because the faster you do it, the faster you earn the upgrade. You know, guides don't have to be in person. It's product-led growth, right? But identify key activation points and focus value there. Make the wins real. Make them measurable. Make them valuable. You know, signups are good. But don't let a poor onboarding experience hold you back and make sure that you prioritize this critical aspect of your growth strategy. Make winning easy and watch your B2B SaaS company soar to new heights. So if you had a great or maybe not so great sign up and onboarding experience, let me know about it in the comments below.